This is Chad. Um, I'm going to talk about the next illustration project, which is assignment eight, an editorial spot illustration. Okay, so um, so I know you have a week left of the semester now. This is just for fall 21. This may change if I use it and use this assignment in another semester. But spot illustrations are done very quickly on a short timeline. Um, and they're small. So this is the perfect opportunity to complete our last assignment. Um, let me talk about, so here's the assignment. Um, flip through your favorite magazine or newspaper and you're bound to find a lot more than just words. You'll find a lot of uh, small illustrations and these are called editorial il illustrations. The assignment is to find an article, at least one of the sources I recommend, and create a full color spot illustration for that story. Um, and the spot illustration is about a four by five. So there's a couple things you need to know. What is a spot? A spot illustration is about a quarter page or the width of a column. The thing is we don't know the width of a column will vary based on um, the publication. So spots are kind of a secondary image in an article. For our purposes, we're going to stick with a four inch by five inch requirement and full color. Um, now, what is an editorial illustration? Well, that is artwork that's created that sits next to or is in response to written text, usually an article. And what's so great about it is that um, it allows an illustrator to put in their own opinions and interject their own voice. A couple other things that are great about it is that magazines are always looking for a fresh look. So it's a great way to start off in the illustration field. Um, by sending your sample editorial illustrations to magazines or websites that would um, that accept um, those you know entries from from illustrators, and you could post them on your social media and stuff like that. <clears throat> Remember, editorial is not the same as a political cartoon. Different, okay? Um, political cartoons have like labels on them. <clears throat> And um, this is not that. We're not labeling things with words, okay? Um, okay, it's a good communication tool. I go through the process of creating um, an editorial illustration. Let me show you some examples first but before I get into that. The New York Times Book Review is a great place to find spot illustrations because they produce so many, and um, a lot of illustrators have gotten their start there. So, so this would be one right here, and the story is best books to give this season, and here we see a couple sharing um, an awesome book. And as we look through, there are a bunch of article links, and nearly all of them are um, have have a, uh, an illustration to them. So this particular illustration has uh, illustrator has gotten a lot of these same these stories. We get beyond that and we start to see other ones. Holiday gift books for children, really exciting. Um, shifting styles and pages of a graphic novel. Uh, horror stories from Irish Magdalene laundries. Um, I mean, twins parting ways estrangement issues. Sorry, ensues. So what we're looking for is an editorial one. I do not want a portrait one, although that can be part of editorial for sure. Um, okay, so a bunch here uh, under New York Times Book Review. I have that linked on the project sheet. Also in Communication Arts Gallery, um, if you go to Gallery and then choose Illustration and then Editorial, um, you can scroll through and see a lot of editorial um, illustrations. This was the darker side of Disney. Um, and anyway, so hopefully that helps. I have a few other articles linked in there about 25 great uh, editorial illustrators we love, and you can check those out. Um, 
Now, right, this might look like a political cartoon just because it deals with politics, but the big head and the caricature of the face is not there, nor are there any labels. So this is an editorial illustration. Um, here, bigger head, likeness of face, but definitely no um, labels. So just generally don't put labels in illustrations, especially when the, the success of the illustration hinges on us knowing what that label is, if that makes sense. Okay, let's get into um, the, the process. So watch the demo at the end of the project sheet and select an article that is not previously illustrated from these one of these places or another news source. I just found a lot of really interesting articles on these three, ones that are not really cited and, and they're, they're fun to, um, they're interesting, they're various, okay. Uh, create some statement about your story. Um, if, and, if you've, and if you've had me for um, Foundation Digital Media, you'll recognize this pattern that we're doing, this little process. Create a statement about your story. Underline keywords from that statement. Please only use two to four keywords. Then brainstorm a list for each underlined word. Each list should be about 15 words per underlined word. And here's some tips. Keep the words in the list visual, not don't use synonyms. And then while creating the brainstorm list, ignore the overall concept and focus on only on that word. Okay. So anyway, I'll give you an example of that. Don't edit your words during the first go through and then edit them on the second go through. Remove non-visual words and words that don't relate. Okay, so let me let me show you what article I've chosen. That is going to be Olympic diver and knitter Tom Daly launches his own online knitting shop. So my statement is, and I've kind of stepped back away from online knitting shop because there's a lot of articles about Olympic diver is a knitter, and that's basically what it is. Let me um, open up. Okay, and a male Olympic diver knits. Okay, so this does re doesn't really look like a brainstorm list, but it is, and I've done it with pictures instead, which I think can be a bit more valuable. What I should, what I'd like to do here is um, put a, a line separating um, my lists. because I made them a little too close. Up here, up here. Okay. All right, so let me just go over my, my list here. Um, and I wouldn't get a very good grade on this because I didn't, I could, I just could not, I edited before I, um, as I jotted stuff down. So I started going into the US like this right here, this little scribble to stars, to stripes, but that's not it. I'm looking for Olympic. And I guess my topic sentence could be US Olympic diver, which would actually help a lot. <laughs> now that I think about it, it would go right along with one of my, um, with one of my stories. So I may still do that, but I'm going to stick with Olympic right now. So the rings, a torch, a medal, Olympic stand. I was going Stars and Stripes, the world. And then I took those Olympic rings and started doing them 3D. Um, diver. So they're kind of a slim muscular build and nearly naked. Um, there's a really high platform, 30 meters. They kind of have a six pack. I'm trying to think of things that might help with... Um, this knitting and incorporating like this, which it may still might do, because see, like the six pack and this kind of similar, like like a knitted six pack. Um, the diving icon, some crazy um, positions they get in when diving. Um, okay, and then knitting. So crossed to knitting needles doesn't have to be crossed, just knitting needles. 
And then the texture that you get when you knit, the sweaters, full knit sweaters, ball of yarn, a skein of yarn. Here's what yarn looks like close up. It's kind of twisted and then there's hairs all over. Um, scarves are pretty popular for knitting. Um, there's stripes that can be done when knitting. Uh, when knitting, you get like partial done stuff. Okay. All right, so let me go to my thumbnails. So what I thought would be kind of interesting, so what I'm doing at this point, now that I have all these things done, I'm gonna, for the image, I'm gonna match up um, at least two from each list, three if I can do it, but at least two. So the first one I thought diver and then, so the first one here is like the diver's actually knitting and he's, and he's knitting a splash in the water, which is kind of like the launch. It's a splash, right? Um, so there's that. And then um, here's one where the diver's doing some crazy pose. And you know how sometimes you get like these little like movement lines? I thought doing it in yarn could be kind of kind of fun and interesting to show all the flips and everything they do. And even this one where you just or they show show them it just shows them flipping with yarn. Um, this one is uh, knitting needles with a diver um, being knitted. And um, really maybe I would want to do that, but just to keep things, make, make sense of things a little more. And then I'll just uh, make that multiply. Yeah, so he's like hanging off Clean this up a little bit. He was holding something. Or, yeah, this, thing, this person was holding something. Now they are not. Um, okay, whatever. Um, so a knitted diver, and then I could like darken the suit, and then put you know skin tone over the rest, and maybe darken the hair. Um, okay, so those are my thumbnails, um, and I, I think this one is going to be best, but I almost think that's all I need right there. I don't need to show the entire body. Um, if the art director wanted, uh, yeah, if the art director had a, a longer spot, maybe I could show. So here's the thing. Once they send you an article, it's not printed yet, usually when it's a when it's an actual assignment. What you do is you brainstorm, you don't show them the brainstorm, but you just show them thumbnails. And they, they this is a little too rough. What I would do next was, would say idea one, and I'd redraw this best I can. Idea two, and I'd draw, redraw this best I can. Idea three, I'd do, right, redraw this best I can. And the more ideas, the better, really. Um, I have pretty th three pretty good solid ones here. And I think the best is going to be like showing this whole length. And um, I think if the art director would see that, they'd go, oh yeah, this, this whole, whole, the whole thing here. Oops, let me see if I can. Um, yeah, let's merge those. Okay, this whole thing works best as the illustration rather than what I thought like this because that could be like someone hey I don't know it's I think it's better like this I think the legs need to go together so it's more of a diver pose um, and if the splash is probably going to be white so and this water is probably going to be blue they're usually like they don't have different color pools for Olympic divers so I think something in the background that is not white it should be colored though because this white Somehow we need that white knitted to stand out against something and show splash. So anyway, that's kind of the idea. Um, and I've taken diver and the pose 
and put this incorporated this knitting into it. Now, I know it's not just like a symbol over it, right? They're incorporated. So in other words, the, the diver is actually knitting with the needles. I mean, it's, it's the knitted piece. Or there's like a yarn that, that comes off it. Here's what I don't want you to do is get the symbol for diver and have them diving into a symbol for yarn. It's symbol, symbol. What I want you to do is incorporate those more. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah, so this is doing a week. It's a quick turnaround. Uh, and let's see, what else can I share with you? Um, and then, so you would turn, what you would submit per the project sheet is um, you're going to submit your brainstorm list, your thumbnails, your full color 4x5 art as a JPEG, and the article so I can better understand what exactly you're illustrating. Um, this is due the 10th, the last day of class at 11.59 um, p.m. And here's an opportunity that I usually don't offer, but uh, to get to have a really successful spot illustration or to get 100% on the project or 100 points, you would submit all those things I just mentioned, brainstorm list, thumbnails, final art, and PDF of the article. You can submit two successful spot illustrations, which includes brainstorm list, thumbnails, which could be the same thing, but two final arts and one PDF. So you, I might go into my brain or to my thumbnail and go, okay, I'm gonna submit that and I actually think this one would be super cool right here too. So I'm gonna do both those. So do final art on both of them, um, or even this one because it's, it's di uh, they're all kind of the similar vertical type thing. So anyway, um, whatever it is, but you could use the same article. In fact, I'd prefer, it. in fact, that's the requirements to illustrate from the same article. Um, but you could get extra credit for it up to 150% if everything looks amazing. Okay, so a little extra credit opportunity here. Um, yeah, no, the, there's no media limitations, like no watercolor. You can do watercolor, you don't have to. You can do oil, you don't have to. You could do color pencil, you could do um, illustrator. So I um, hope that helps. And let me know if you have questions. Um, okay, very good. Thanks, everyone.